So in today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to restore your phone running Graphene OS from a backup, specifically a USB backup. This is useful if you lose your device and need to set up a new one, or in my case, it's also useful if you are migrating from the Pixel 5 to the Pixel 5a and don't feel like spending hours reinstalling apps and configuring all your settings again. One of the prerequisites to restore your phone from a backup is to have an existing backup. So if you don't have one of those, I'll link a video in the top right hand corner that shows you how to do that. And after the backup is restored, I'm gonna go through and compare the phones to see just how accurate the restore was. So here we have the new phone I will be restoring the backup to. I have my USB drive plugged in via the USB-C cable. The screen you see right now is the default Graphene OS screen after a fresh install. So once you're ready, go ahead and click next. Select your language. Change the time zone if you need to. I'm gonna skip Wi-Fi for now. I don't have a SIM card in this phone yet, so it says no service. I'm gonna unselect location services for now. I'm gonna skip fingerprint and pin code, but you should set this up on your device. And when you get to this screen, you need to click restore from backup. We are restoring from the USB drive, so select that. So on this next screen, we're gonna type in the 12 word recovery phrase that we recorded when we made our initial backup on the other device. If you forgot what this recovery phrase is, there's no way to recover it, so you will need to create a new backup. Once you finish typing all 12 words, hope you type them correctly and click verify. If you did type them correctly, you will see your backup show up. We have the Google Pixel 5, which is the phone I'm migrating from. I'll go ahead and click on that. And it's now going to reinstall all the apps. And once the apps finish installing, go ahead and click next. And now at this point, the system backup as well as app settings will be restored. And once that has completed, go ahead and hit finish. I don't have any storage backups, so I'm going to go ahead and skip this step. And then click start. I'm gonna bring up my other phone side by side so we can see just how accurate the restore was. So on the right side, I have the Pixel 5 and on the left, I have the Pixel 5a, which is the new phone we just restored the backup to. If you take a look at the top, we can even see it almost synced up the battery percentages. That was a joke, but the rest of it looks pretty close. I have the same background. All the apps are in the same place. The two icons you see missing on top, those were shortcuts I had to websites. So kind of understandable, those did not migrate. And if we swipe up to the app drawer, we can see all the apps look pretty similar. Everything looks pretty good. I did disable PDF reader and Vanadium on my old device. The new device does not have them disabled. But other than that, things look pretty close. If we take a look at messages, it looks like the restore unarchived everything, but the messages are there. If we take a look at the phone, my contacts are not there, but that's because I use a third party to store them in the cloud. Once I configure that, that will be there. Other than that, it looks pretty close. It looks like it picked up my settings for showing battery percentage. It carried over the background wallpaper, installed all the apps for me, and whatever apps permitted data to be backed up, it restored. So just after using this for about five minutes, it's pretty much what I would expect from restoring a backup of a phone.